In 2008, I was given only a year to live. When I wrote my book, Crawling Into the Light, I really thought it would be the last thing I would ever do. I wrote it because I wanted my life to stand for something, you know? But then I had some mind-blowing insights that I want to share with you. Because, well, obviously, I'm still here and I am healthier and stronger than ever, even before I got sick. I'm Marnie Spencer Devlin, and today I'm a best-selling author, and I created the Iceberg Principles to help bring you better relationships, greater health and energy, and more abundant life through conscious awareness. And today I'm back with the second installment of a very special three-part episode of Insights. In the first episode, I began to tell you about the three reasons that human beings get sick. Despite all the tons of different diseases out there, there are really only three basic causes. Last week, I told you about the first reason, the physical reason we get sick. I talked about all the different things that we do that we know are causing us damage to our bodies, yet we lack the conscious awareness to grasp the true consequences of our actions. And then we get sick. Today, I want to talk about the emotional causes for illness. Anger, rage, jealousy, resentments, disappointments, depression, anxiety, fear, panic. These are powerful emotions that result in negative physiological changes. I'm sure you have felt your blood pressure grow up and maybe you've even began to shake a little because you were really angry or your stomach churned and maybe you became nauseous or even worse because you were so nervous or afraid. You could feel the mighty effect that those emotions had on your body. When you stay there long enough or too often, not only does it feel really bad, it causes real damage to your body. Emotions are energy vibrating at a certain frequency. Every negative emotion has a corresponding illness. Anger, for example, tends to express in the liver. I had a lot of unresolved anger about the things that happened to me in my childhood and early adulthood. I had buried these emotions so deeply that I had no idea they were even there. In hindsight, I believe that other people probably sensed my anger. I had a really quick temper and I was easily overwhelmed by circumstances, but I did not understand why I was like that. Then I developed liver disease and it almost killed me. And then I asked the right questions. The good news is that it is possible to dissolve these negative energy patterns once you become consciously aware. And I don't mean just knowing about it. That has no transformational value. I'm talking about truly conscious awareness, about what you're doing to yourself, and then you will dissolve the energy patterns that cause the damage. Another example is cancer. Cancer is called the nice people disease. The corresponding emotion is unresolved resentments and disappointments, holding it all in. People who develop cancer oftentimes cannot bring themselves to express their true feelings. They fear causing discord or hurting someone whom they love, or they fear losing something that they feel that they need. So they put up with the problem and they say nothing. But the energy has to go somewhere and it expresses in the body as toxicity. I highly recommend Louise Hay's enlightening, best-selling book entitled You Can Heal Your Life from Hay House Publications. It connects the different emotional causes with their corresponding physical symptoms. Look, here's the thing. With emotional reasons, there are those times when getting sick is your first clue that some changes are in order. In other instances, you know very well that you are hurting yourself. You should let something go. You should forgive. But something seemingly makes it impossible. 
But if you truly understood that you are hurting yourself, not the other person, but yourself, why would you hurt yourself? Because someone else has wronged you. Either way, if you are truly consciously aware how badly you are hurting yourself, wouldn't you let it go? But therein lies the rub again, doesn't it? You are not consciously aware. And so you make unconscious choices. Go to my website, MarnieSpencerDevlin.com and subscribe for the first and most important step in gaining clarity about your actions to enable you to take your life off autopilot. I'm cooking up a very special program too that will give you the additional tools that you need to truly take charge of your life. Ah, if you were really consciously aware of how amazing you are, you would be unstoppable. So stay tuned for that. So that's it for this week's episode of Insights. If you know someone who's struggling, with powerful emotions and is making themselves sick, please share this with them. And do me a huge favor and share this video on your Facebook page. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you next week for the conclusion of this very special series of insights about the three reasons we get sick.